All right, guys, it's giveaway time. Uh, for 150 subscribers, um, you, I'm going to pick three winners at random. Um, all you need to do is be subscribed. You need to like, comment which 3D printed part you'd like, and any ideas that you have for uh, future videos. That's all that's required. So I'll start with the first one. Um, this is for the Dillon uh, powder measures, 650, 550, 450, 750. Um, I don't know why you would probably put anything that has a uh, powder level sensor on it. But what it is here is it's a big funnel and it's a component separator. So if you're using one of the kinetic polars or something like that, it'll catch your brass and your bullet and all that stuff and then you just dump the powder in there so i have this in silver to try to match the cast aluminum that was requested by a couple guys on ebay i also have it in dylan blue it's about as close to it as i can get and i also have it in black um, the next thing that i have is a loading block for 16 gauge 20 gauge, 28 gauge, and maybe even 410. It's probably a little bit big for 410. Um, but it's pretty deep, so you won't spill your shells. Like some of the more shallow ones on eBay, guys are trying to save on material. Uh, here's a 10, 12, 16, 20 gauge size block too. Probably best for the 10, 12, and 16. Probably a little bit big for 20. Then I have the RCBS Uniflow. I have the same um, setup as the Dillon. And you just, you know, like I said, you just pop the cap off. It's a component separator. It's great for a funnel. Some guys buy these on for just a, for just a, a funnel. And like I said, you just put the cap on and that's what it looks like. The next one is a Mech 600, and all you really need to know is there's a flat base and there's an embossed base. So these would be on the new Mark series. These would be on the original 600s, 600, original 600 juniors. Um, I have a black and a red primer tray, and that little indent fits the... So you have to take out the primer punch seat, but it that indent is to interface with that hole I have in the uh, primer catcher and then I have two pretty strong neodymium magnets that kind of hold it in place and on top of that you put the primer seat in kind of helps hold everything in place so you can get that in red or black uh, same thing with the 600 junior mark series press This one has the same indent that interfaces with the press base. Um, the uh, difference with this is it has five standoffs, two have magnets inside the standoffs, and it works real good. These will all hold probably about 400 spent primers. And then this is what I sell the most of on eBay. I've probably sold about almost 100 of these black ones. Um, and then the red one's not so popular, but I sell a lot of these. You could tell this one fits the contours of the press really good um, got a little knob on the end two magnets and then those magnets go right across that brace in the back now this is an sm82 so this is the newer size master it would fit the older ones but it would stick out probably about that far so that'd be up to you if you'd want that or not I don't have any design software at the moment, so it'll be a little while till I get to uh, making any more designs. But I've got black and red, and those are the options. So I appreciate everybody watching. Um, like I said, I'll give it about a week. Um, I'll get back to you through the comments. I will um, also send you an email on your, your Gmail account that's uh, linked to your eBay, I mean your Google handle. And that's, uh, that's how we'll do it. I'll pick three at random. And like I said, all you need to do is you need to be subscribed. You need to like the video. 
you need to tell me uh, which part you would like and what ideas you have for any uh, any of the next videos and we'll just kind of go from there appreciate everybody watching and I'll talk to you later